Professor Frank J. Tipler is a cosmologist and mathematical physicist at Tulane University. He has put forth, across the face of his works, a theory of physics purporting to demonstrate that laws of physics such as the second law of thermodynamics, general relativity, quantum mechanics, and the standard model of particle physics, require that the universe end in an omega point, a final cosmological singularity and a state of infinite informational capacity identified by Tipler as being God. Tipler, I have been told, wrote a 2007 book, The Physics of Christianity. In this book, Tipler proposes that this omega point has a trinitarian aspect because it can be divided into three aspects, something along the lines of a beginning singularity, an ongoing event horizon, and an ending singularity, analogizing these three putative event horizons to the elements of Christianity in the triumvirate system, a system which, oddly, is nowhere to be found in the Bible. I am told, further, that he purports to have thus proven Christianity. Now, maybe I've been misinformed as to Professor Tipler's conceit, but even proving the existence of a creator with attributes sufficient to be called a God, and even supposing that said creator, like many things in nature, has attributes that could be grouped in a comfortable threesome, is quite different from proving any particular God, or validating a particular myth that could, with some massaging, be interpreted as featuring its own triumvirate God. Now then, Pandeism also proposes that there are multiple states of the Creator, there is the pre-universe entity that lacks knowledge of limitation and, in the tradition of John Scotus Eriogena, must become the universe, then there is the unconscious and fragmented Creator's universe, existing as all things to acquire this missing knowledge, and at last there is the post-universe entity, restored by the coalescence of the universe, something immediately far more comparable to this, Omega Point than anything in any form of theism, incorporating and integrating the knowledge gleaned and having existed as the universe and all within it. And so, I hereby publish this open letter, a challenge to Professor Frank J. Tipler of Tulane University, if you do indeed preach that your theory is a proof of God, and of any particular God, demonstrate for us all that this theory does not, in fact, prove the theory of pandeism as much as it does any other faith. Naturally, failure to answer this challenge shall be deemed an irrevocable confession that it is indeed the theory of pandeism that is proved.